Okay guys, welcome back to the jungle. I'm gonna be playing Vi. Um, I'm running the recommended runes that are recent, which is kind of weird to me. Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, and then Sudden Impact with Eyeball Collection. And then our build path's gonna be the Chainsword into probably Radiant Virtue. That's what I've been running the last couple of games and it seems to be working out. But Chainsword on Vi, from what I understand, is like it's maximally efficient stats as early as possible. The anti-healing is just kind of ice, icing on the cake, I suppose. We're playing into Echo Jungle. I don't really have much thoughts on the matchup, because most of the time you're not really playing against the enemy jungler, I feel like. Like, I feel like I have an advantage most of the time when I'm playing Vi. I feel like the enemy jungler can't touch me, you know? So we're going to be clearing up and then looking for a fight topside. With how these lanes are, I feel like I have enough time just to go ahead and full clear. I don't feel any onus to skip camps or anything. Warwick versus Tom Kinch is like obviously weird, so... And then Kassin versus Yasuo is totally under control. So when the lanes play out slower, it gives me more time to farm. Whoops. Bang. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay, these raptors have truly beat me up here. This is not good. And then Echo naturally to top lane, but I don't really mind if Warwick dies. Nice. There's one. Doesn't get the second one, but that's okay. Because then that puts Echo very low, and that makes it very easy for me to win. It's one way to spin the Warwick, huh? They're going to be weird top lane. So Echo either returns to his blue side or recalls. They do see me here. Kind of no harm here. Just check things out. Echo finishes the Gromp and then Tom Kench moving down, like... <laughs> Bro. Bro. When will things get better for me? No! I can't believe it. I'm so bad. <laughs> Clean him up, guys. Oh my god. Hey, you know what they say, it sucks to suck. Get down to that scuttle. If you miss that Vi-Q, man, it's like top 10 stupidest moments as, as a League of Legends player. You feel so out... <laughs> At least I do. I feel so outrageously stupid when I miss that bad boy. Would I gank bot lane? Surely Twitch comes out of stealth here. Everyone's abilities are just going wide. But then he has to move up to the casters, so we're good. I'm gonna help him shove the wave now. So we'll shove this wave and then go back to our jungle camps. Unless Twitch wants to be weird. Well, that's half his HP. So if he's gonna roam mid, he's gonna be half HP. <laughs> like, yeah, you're freezing the wave, man. But like, is it really in your interest? People nowadays, man, they'll do stuff like that but not know why. And it's like, dude, as Twitch, all you want to do is go kill someone. I would just let the wave crash. It's no big deal. Because say like a traditional support does that, right? A, a Leona holds the wave. Leona takes like two damage from tanking 7,000 minions. Twitch, it's going to be his whole health bar. 
So it's just not the same deal. There goes my Yasuo. Ooh, he gets out? Twitch might keep chasing. Can't really contest that. We don't find Twitch. I cast him. Oh, Twitch was mid lane. So they take my Raptors. It is what it is. Then that gives me an opportunity to go into their blue side and then fight. I should be a level up on the Echo, so I'm not too scared about that. Running into the Tom Kench could be annoying though, because my Warwick won't be able to show up in time. Why would Kasten be here? An enemy has been slain. Awkward. Dodge Q. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry. I, I didn't expect this big old party. I'm really running into trouble, running into their blue side. Doesn't seem to be a winning move. Okay, nice. Followed him with the Q. Already change of plans. No more walking into the enemy blue side. My bot lane will be level 6 soon. That really puts them online. And then if the Twitch is going to be roaming, it makes it very easy to dive the Aphilio solo. With Lux and Seraphine, they'll both have shields for me too. As well as just my own shield, so it should be easy. Yeah, I really messed up. If I played for the objectives instead of trying to invade like that, things would be A-OK. -okay. Because when nothing's going on, and my laners aren't level 6, like it's just not the play to move into the jungle like that. So let's do Dragon, we'll do Gromp, we'll get level 6, and then see where we go from there. Onto Twitch. And then that's Echo's ulti as well. That's Echo's ulti. Do I want to invade? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to go fight this guy. I want to be hardcore, but my mom won't let me. So since Lux roams mid, we'll just farm up, I suppose. My Seraphine also spent her ulti. And then I do need to make up for a little bit of feeding. Will I go in 1v3? No. I have to wait for the play to dissipate and then play for an objective, I think. Because if they invest like that, then they don't have their ultis and stuff for, say, a Rift Herald fight. Close. Okay, Yasuo has ulti if Tom Kinch wants to come mid. It's a little bit weird for me to kite into there. Because I could be moving into Kasten, even if he's at like no HP. It's still a little bit hard for me. Echo has his ulti coming up, but Warwick will be here in time. Alright, let's get a recall off, spin the gold that we have, and then get back onto the map. I'm gonna be looking to uh, use the Rift Herald mid, make things harder for Kasten, I think. So, I'll do my red side camps, so that'll give me time for my ulti to come back up. Why is the Tom Kinch mid? Do it normal. Surely, War or surely Kasten doesn't have a better matchup into Warwick. Surely. Punch, punch, punch. 
I mean, we can still kill the Tom Kinch. Honestly, probably easier since he doesn't have an escape. Punch, punch, punch. Echo goes top, it is what it is. And we have no interrupt for that. So we'll go ahead and push this out. Pretty. Nice. It's not Twitch here, so we're okay. Wish I could use the Rift Herald. I'm gonna be looking to Q onto Twitch. Easier said than done. Yasuo is giving me nothing. Hey, man. What's the deal? Let's get out of there. Dragon's coming up in one minute. Look alive out there. It's like when the Yasuo backs up, right? It just put, It's gonna make me spin myself if I go in. You're already spinning yourself as Vi, like queuing in, so it gets extra screwed up when your allies are behind you. Boots Lucidity, and then all I can afford is a Cloth Armor. I would much rather have a Ruby Crystal or a Magic, a Null Magic Mantle right now, but yeah, that's that. If you don't know what this item does, Radiant Virtue, it gives you so many stats. It gives you Armor, Magic Resist, HP, Ability Haste. When you ult, it gives you max HP. It heals your allies and gives them Ability Haste. Like, bruh. So the same thing as Chainsword, where it's just a whole bunch of stats packed into one. Suppose that's best for Vi. At least that's what we're rocking with. 14 seconds until the dragon. Losing the dragon isn't the biggest deal, but it's my bad. I timed the smite just a little too early. Okie doke. So I want to get one of these turrets down one way or another. So I think I'm just going to go mid right now. With cast and TPing top. We're not hitting this turret. Like, bro. <laughs> bro. I twitch supports clearing the mid wave, like. And the Tom Kench is back. Bro. Okay, my ult's in 20. Listen. Listen. I'm gonna do wolves and then just go bot. Aphelios! Bye, my friend. Finally, we can get a turret. <laughs> Finally. Punch. Punch. Whoa, Nelly! Sorry, sorry. You guys are already down here? The cleanup crew cast in and twitch. Is there any more like janitors of the rift, huh? You know the type of bugs that like uh, they feed off like the, the bottom feeders. You know, like they feed off the waste. That's kind of how 
Twitch and cast in R. Shut down. Somehow the Tom Kench swap is like owning the Yasuo, but it's fine. Griff Child's coming up and the Echo's dead, so that's a pretty easy equation. I don't know what this Null Magic's trying to do from the Echo. Like, if he goes Merc Treads, it's so, so good for us. So, I'm gonna try to play for the objectives as a good Vi should. My girls are mid lane, I'm feeling good. Punch, punch. Nobody can get their stuff off. I'm gonna go mid, take that turret. Ugh, how mad is the Echo and Tom Kinch? Tom Kinch can't get his shield off, like we're layering the CC so well. Please don't make me Rift Herald. Punch, punch. Now a noob, a noob would stay for the wave. Okay. But, but I got a dragon to get to. Got my Radiant Virtue to purchase. I'm thinking it's the easiest Maul of Malmorius I've ever seen here, where they have so much AP damage. And then right, what's their AD threat? And Aphilios, like we can ult the Aphilios. If he's the guy to pop off, we got bigger problems. I'm gonna try to do one jungle camp so I can get my uh, uh, my red smite. What is this thing called? My pet evolve. I don't know what to call that. My smite evolve. My primal smite is. <laughs> Alright, so we got most of the outer turrets. Now it's just waiting for Baron. Okay, my ulti was a little soon there. Now I can Rift Herald mid. Nice. Nice. They have pretty low wave clear, even if the Echo wasn't dead. Push, push, push. Punch, punch, punch. Alright, let's do this. Oh, really good save. Next. Nice. Hey, well, how about we just push it in, huh? How about <laughs> how about that? The turrets, everyone. If we can do this. Okay. Okay, GG. Nice! Dude, and like, it's very few games where that basic coordination can happen. My team was good this game? Huh? Never before seen gameplay. Alrighty, GG. Let's see, final damage dealt is 8,000. Big stuff here, big stuff. Where I made those mistakes early, where I tried to invade instead of play for the objectives, that slowed things down. But you can still bounce back as Vi, I think, because she's a traditional jungler. Like, 
if your team doesn't lose like in the meantime, I had enough time to farm back up and then show up for fights and play them well. So that's kind of what I'm liking about Vi. She's more bulky, uh, wide, uh, you know what I mean? Like you can make some mistakes and keep keep the ball rolling. And that's pretty pretty nice for solo queue because mistakes will happen whether I'm the one doing them or not. So yeah, alrighty. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.